right. So for our workout today, oh no, I took out one of the Smurf houses. I we are doing a monkey in the middle workout. And our monkey in the middle is gonna be 10 reverse crunch V-ups. So let me turn mine sideways. Brian, you can keep yours like that. So we're gonna, every time we do an exercise, we're gonna come back to this, which is a reverse crunch, tuck, try to lift your butt. Now you can even push off with your hands here underneath to get more height. Then you're gonna do a V up. Reverse crunch, tuck, V up. Okay, if you need to modify, just tuck and lift here. Tuck and lift. So that's always gonna be 10. We only have 10 for that one. And on the outside, we're gonna do 50 reps. Now, this is only because Matt and Viv are trying to go go to a restaurant after this. So we're gonna do 50 reps on the outside, 10 reverse crunch V-ups in the middle. All right, so we're gonna start with floor push-ups. So it's just like what it says. You're letting your entire body come to the floor. You can even lift your hands a little bit and you're gonna push up. Two. If you need to modify, just keep your knees down, all right? You have 50, five, zero. As soon as you're done, you can wait till everybody catches up or you can hit those 10 reverse crunch to V up. Reverse crunch V up is one, you have to do 10. Here we go, I already did two, I'm counting them. Let's go, all the way up. Come on, come on. Do as many as you can, then sit back into child's pose and take a break. If you feel your form going, just keep your knees down for a few. Sit back, stretch out your arms, do whatever you gotta do and keep going. Get back into it. Come on. Keep that core tight. Nice work, you guys. Arms feel like they're gonna fall off already, don't they? Come on, let's go. I'll give you a little trick, keep going. When you feel like you can't do any more, just do increments of five. For some reason, that makes it easier. Remember, you can modify. got five left. Come on. Keep going. Shake it out if you have to. If you're not done, I'm going to give you a little time to finish. That's okay. Come on. Way to go. Way to go. Nice work. Nice work. How we doing? There you go. Keep at it, y'all. Five zero. Get a drink when you need it. Remember, when you're done, you can go right into that monkey in the middle. Reverse crunch, V up. Come on. Almost kicking you. Just tuck and lift. There you go. Ten of those. Keep moving. 
open. Nice work, y'all. Grab a drink when you need it. Get them done for 10. All right, you're gonna need your towel for the next set of 50. Let me show you what you got. If you're still finishing, that's okay. Finish up, you can watch while you're doing that. So you can have a towel. I would hold it at the longest place possible, which is actually diagonally, unless you have a regular big towel. Um, or if you're very flexible, there you go, Matt. Um, you might need something shorter because you have good flexibility. All right, so we're gonna start this towel above your head, more advanced. Keep your feet off the ground the entire time. Keep it above your head, come up. You're gonna get it under your feet and tuck it into your knees. Pull it out, go back down. Tuck and out, tuck and out. If this is too hard, just grab for the front of your knees, okay? So it would look like this. Tuck high and out. Tuck in the front of your shins and out. But if you can get it up under your feet, do it. All right, you got 50, y'all. Sorry, but you can blame Matt and Viv for that one. And Devin, because she was on vacation too. It's all your guys' fault. It isn't mine. Let's go. Whip that under there. Try to come up with your upper body. Get up. Jeff, notice how when I'm coming up, I'm rolling up to my butt. Not completely on my butt, but that space between your back and your butt. So get up there, try to get your upper body up. If you're just in a crunch position, because this is all you can do right now, you're gonna get there. So do what you can. If you're only getting here, that's okay. As long as you're moving, do what you can. But if you can do it the hard way, don't make excuses. Let's go. Tuck it in. There you go. Lay out. Keep it up, keep it up. How you doing, Bri? Yeah. You're moving down. Am I? Yeah. I am. Come on, come on. There you go. Nice work, you guys. I'm at 30. Come on. You can do it. Viv's got like a pillow or something. I like that. All right. That's okay if you got some kind of mat. You can use it. Not mat. You got a pillow and a mat, Viv. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exhale when you come up. There you go. Do what you can. Don't get frustrated. Hey, if abs aren't your strength, then that's all right. This is something you could do good and focus on. All right, keep at it, keep at it. What number again, Bri? 33. Good. I got 10 left. Come on, keep going wherever you're at. All the tacos you're gonna eat later. Keep going. 
Remember, you can modify to your shins if you need to. I'm gonna do the last one over because I messed it up coming out because I was talking too much. Great job, you guys. Come on, stay with it. Stay with it, keep fighting through. There you go, modify on your shins when you have to. Way to get up there. Tuck under, stretch back out. Leave your feet up at the bottom if you can. If you need to tap them down, that's okay. Keep going, keep fighting. Good work, good work. Where are you at, where are you at? 46. This is 46? Come on. Let's go, keep it up you guys. Way to work. Nice. Go, 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 go. Great job. Hey, after this, it's the monkey in the middle. You know what that means. More abs. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. All right, if you're done, you can go ahead and move on to that monkey in the middle. But if you didn't do 50, take your time and finish. Don't cheat. Leave all your reps here in this time. Less than an hour, that's all you have to do and you're done. All right, when you are ready, moving along to the tuck, V up, you got 10. job. Finish it off. I'll give you a couple more seconds. Remember to get water when you need it. There you go. All right, moving to our next exercise. We have side to side. I'm sorry shoulder tap planks. So remember for this one, if you're still finishing up, that's okay. You wanna keep your hips square to the ground, so widen out your feet for a stronger base, so you're not twisting and pulling your hips side to side. All right, keep your hips nice and square, focus on keeping that belly button to the floor. You got 50, each one counts. Just come up and touch your shoulder. Try to keep your hands under your shoulders the whole time, let's go. Don't let your butt sway side to side. Tighten up. Stay up, sticks. You can modify from your knees if you have to. job as soon as you're done you're back to that monkey in the middle reverse crunch knee up
When you're done, you can get up. Grab a quick drink if you need it. All right, finish those off. While you're grabbing a drink, we're going to side to side lunges. So for these, you're gonna start with both feet together. You're gonna transfer your weight to the side that the leg is moving. So I'm transferring all my weight to this leg. This one is staying straight. Now this is good range of motion, see here? I came all the way down, I'm gonna push off to get back. My other side isn't gonna be as good because my range of motion isn't as good. I lied, look at that. <laughs> that was pretty good. So that's all we're doing. Step to the side, remember you gotta drop your booty down. You have to drop your butt. Just go into this and move in your chest is not it, all right? We wanna work our legs. So we gotta drop it low. Ready, 50 of them. Each one counts though, each one counts. Five, four, three, two, let's go. You don't have to rush through them. Get good form, get down there. Brian's counting for us. That was number six. <laughs> there you go. Drop the buns. If you have a couch or something and you need to do this and hold on to something, you can do that. Or set up two little chairs where I come down here, I can touch just in case I need it. Just in case I need it. There you go. Remember, keep your head and your chest up. Bend into those legs. Your booty has to drop. You can add weights here if you got them. Uh, you would hold them like this. Reach them between that leg when you go to the side. What number on Bry? 26. Keep it up, you guys. Way to get down there. Keep that core tight. You should be feeling it because you've been working it. I think we got eight left. 41. 42. Keep it up. Almost there. One more. Good job. All right. Finish those off. You know what comes next. Monkey in the middle. For 10. Way to work, you guys. Come on, stay with it. There you go. Finish it off. Get a drink when you're ready. you're still going that's okay keep moving while you're doing that I'll show you what we got next we got a knee drive to a scorpion kick now I'm gonna be nice 
and let you do 25 on each leg. So you're gonna come into a high plank. We're gonna stay on the one leg all the way through for 25. Then you're going to switch legs. Let me come closer so you can see me. So I'm here, high plank. Notice the alignment with my shoulder. I'm gonna push back, bring that knee to that elbow, and hop. Knee, hop, knee, hop. So when you're transferring that weight, try to do a handstand when you kick that leg up. The weight's gonna transfer to your hands, you're gonna work your shoulders and your abs. So I'm here, hop, e drive, hop. So the more, the more you're transferring the weight to your hands, the easier it is gonna be to do the handstand. 25 on each side, pick a leg, stay with it. Let's go. I did about 20 right there, showing you. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Knee drive, kick. Get up there. Tighten those abs. Good job, good job. Keep working. When you feel your form start to go, or you got sweat in your eye, sit back, catch your breath, get back in. Try to really touch that knee to your elbow. You're going to get more core work that way. Bring that knee all the way in. I got five left. How many you got? Get through as many as you can. Catch your breath. Go again. Give me some good handstands. Don't just plow through just to get it over with. Come on. I know you're fighting through. You can keep going. Let's go. Take a deep breath, get it done. If you're done, you know what comes next. Monkey in the middle, you can go.
job. Way to go, way to go. Nice, way to not cheat. Way to push through hard. Go. Good work. How many you got left? There you go. Nice. When you're done, let's go. Reverse crunch, V up for 10. you guys Woo. grab a drink if you need it yeah nice work you guys come on stay with it we're almost there Right. Yeah. All right, let's work our triceps now. So you have dips. If you have access to a chair, a bench, or a couch, you can use that to get a better range of motion. If you have nothing, you're just gonna do it on the floor like me and Brian, but you wanna keep your butt up nice and high. So get your hands behind you when you come up. Try to lift your toes so you're on your heels so that you can get some range of motion here when you're bending your elbows. Down and up. So it's not a hip thrust, right? We're keeping our hips straight. Our body is moving from the bend in our elbows. You have 50. That's right. You can send your complaints care of Viv and Matt at 111 South Restaurant Boulevard. Here we go. Keep that core tight. If you notice Brian, his legs are extended further away from him, so it's gonna be harder. Keep your butt up. Nice, nice. Come on. When you're done, hit that monkey in the middle. There you go. Get up and shake it out if you need to, especially if you're using a chair or something where you're having a bigger range of motion. <laughs> as soon as you're done, monkey in the middle time, y'all. Finish your dips if you're not done. Woo. Way to go, y'all. All right, as soon as you're done, we're going into mini bear crawls. So you don't need a lot of space. I want you to keep them nice and tight. Your knees are not gonna touch. We're gonna count each movement, but we're gonna count these to 100, okay? So it's not a big crawl where we're, we're covering a lot of space on the, on the ground. We're gonna keep them nice and tight right here. Forward and back. All right, your hand and your foot should move at the same time, counting to 100. So one, two, three, four, back, five, six, seven, eight. Keep going forward and back about four or five. 
All right, here we go. Minis, keep them tight. Don't be going the full length of the floor. Three, two, one, go. Don't forget to breathe. work. Way to fight through, way to stay up. Come on, you guys. Finish those. Woo! Try to keep those knees nice and low. Good job. <laughs> All right, back to our monkey in the middle. If you're done, if you're not, you keep going and finish. Till you're done all the way through then you're gonna switch reverse lunge keep your head and your chest up this same leg that went back it's the same leg that's gonna go back for the deadlift touch reverse lunge touch all right you got 25 on each side don't go to the other side until you finish through if you have weights here this is a good place to add them here we go if you can go from one to the other without touching your foot, also, that'll be a good challenge for your glutes and your hamstrings here. But if you need to to get your balance, that's fine. Reverse lunge to deadlift is one. You gotta do them all through 25. I know that's what you guys were hoping I wasn't gonna say, but I said it. Another storm. <laughs> yes. Keep working. The leg that should be on fire is this one that isn't moving. This st stable leg. Come on, 
come on. 